So we got some tickets to Bubble Planet, which is a brand new immersive experience in London. This is in Wembley. It is a little further out, but it does mean it has free parking and it's in a much bigger venue than a lot of the other immersive experiences that I've been to. It's for children and big kids, I guess. So the first installation with these huge hanging inflatable pads that you walk through. Now I'm the kind of person that can get a little bit of sensory overload, especially when there's a lot of children. So I was pleased that once you get out of the waiting room, it's not as overwhelming and they only let so many people go through at a time. So I did enjoy it once I got through. This was the second experience and it was really awesome. It was a full 360 degree mirrored room with these amazing fish scenes on the bottom. I actually managed to find a space when there was no one else in the room and that was really cool to have it all to yourself. So it wasn't over busy, which I liked. If you hung back a little bit, you could definitely get the spaces more or less to yourself. As a Piscean and water sign, this was definitely one of my favourite rooms. I love anything to do with the sea and the ocean. So you then went into a balloon pit and you could blow your own balloons up first and then you can take them into this huge balloon area where you can throw them and have fun and I don't know what these balloons were but you could even stand on them and they wouldn't burst. Occasionally you would hear one burst but they were very very durable balloons that's for sure. This was actually one of my favourite parts of the exhibition and it's a huge light up dome and you can go inside and there's bean bags and you can just sit and relax and watch the beautiful images and the sounds of relaxing bubbles. It also makes your voice very loud so I find that a lot of people actually are quiet in this room so it's really nice just to be able to relax and take a moment. So then you came out into a huge giant bathtub which was a massive bubble pit basically. A lot of fun for the kids, this was definitely the room with the most children and the most noise so I could only spend so long in here but if you're a child or you're there with children you're going to love this room, they're probably going to want to be in this most of the time. There's still fun to have as an adult in here as well, I always believe in never growing up. They have quite a few cool vacuum suction areas where you can get the balls to hold in air. Here is one of them and they have ones where the balls are just hanging up in the air as well. So you then walk out into a huge games room and there's lots of small individual games where you can interact with the screen. This one you have to blow through a straw and see who can get the most balloons blown up. 
Uh, this one you blow through a funnel and you can see the balloons coming out of her mouth. This one you pump a huge bubble out of a Vincent van Gogh painting. And then in the corner there's a huge air mattress, a little bit like a bouncy castle. You then access the next area through this digital viewing platform area with a changing screen around the edges. It would definitely add to this room if those balloons all released that are just up on the ceiling there. You then come out into photo opportunity areas. There's two of these with really awesome photo setups. Perfect for bloggers actually and vloggers, but I will say there's quite often a queue for these So you generally can't really be bothered to do more than one or two And then this is my joint favorite room. I absolutely love these There was a similar one at the dopamine experience But actually this one's even better because it's much bigger and you go around corners in this one I tried to get the change of light color And then this is the final room and I absolutely love this. Actually, this possibly is my favorite thing. I keep changing my mind, but it's a virtual reality experience and I love virtual reality. To be honest, it does leave me feeling a little bit nauseous if I do too much of it, but I really love it. Uh, so you sit on these hanging bubble chairs and you put on the goggles and you go in through a fantasy land, you go underwater, you end up in, in an oyster shell, in a glass of champagne at a party. It's a very cool experience and the moving chair really adds to it. We got it for free because we had VIP passes, but I think otherwise you have to pay extra. It makes me laugh because I actually asked how you could get on one of the higher chairs <laughs> and then I realized they were dummies. So one of the last rooms is another photo experience. They have these cool evaporating bubbles that turn to smoke. There were robot arms, but unfortunately they were not working when we were there. And then they have this really amazing bubble drop thing where you wear this little yellow mac and you can pull bubbles up and see how high you can get them. Unfortunately, this one broke quite early. And then on the way out, you go through this car wash type experience and then you come out into the gift shop and the entrance area now this is actually where I think this experience let itself down a little bit and has room for improvement I thought the actual experience was very cool and great for kids and pretty good for adults as well and I definitely think it's one of the better ones that I've been to however I just felt that the shop area and the entrance area had such a, it, it just brought you down energetically after the experience. The music was very somber and it was very empty feeling and they didn't have a cafe or anything like that. I just thought it could have been a lot better. We also, as VIP members, got a free poster. I chose the Staircase to Heaven and that was very cool little extra and then they had some drinks i mean i wouldn't drink soft drinks but i did like this one had glitter i thought that was very cool 